A lot of people ask about the injections used for infertility. The injections are used only in certain cases. There are many different treatments for infertility, but if your doctor prescribes injections, they're specifically for inducing uh, more follicles to grow. That's the purpose, to try to get more follicles in the ovaries to grow, and in those more follicles are more eggs. There are a lot of different types of injections. Some of them are given intramuscularly, some are given under the skin, some are synthetic, some are natural, but they all have the same purpose, which is to induce more follicles and more egg growth. They're not very difficult to do. The first time someone does it, they feel a little bit scared, a little apprehensive about discomfort, but they're generally pretty comfortable, and they're used very frequently, and they tend to be very safe for the most part. The injections used for infertility are the same hormones that your body naturally makes, but in higher doses. The purpose is to get multiple follicles to grow. In women who are younger, they tend to be more sensitive to the medications and tend to make more follicles. In the older women, they become a little less sensitive and they make less follicles. The hormones, as I said, are the same hormones that your brain naturally makes. They are natural to your body, but in higher doses. Sometimes they can make you feel a little bloated, sometimes a little breast tenderness or feel tired, but they're generally very, very well tolerated. So that's I think the gist of, of infertility injections and how they're used in reproductive medicine.